स्टेनो स्कूल प्रोग्रेसिव मैटर एट एटी वर्ड्स पर मिनट थ्री टू वन स्टार सर सम डेज अगो आई हैड दी ऑनर ऑफ प्रेजेंटिंग टू द हाउस द रिपोर्ट ऑफ द प्लानिंग कमीशन ऑन द सेकेंड फाइव ईयर प्लान आई प्रिज्यूम दैट मेनी मेंबर्स हैव रेड इट सिंस देन आइदर फुल्ली और इन पार्ट्स I have now the honor to move the following resolution in what it comma this house records its general approval of the principles objectives and programs of development contained in the second 5 year plan as prepared by the planning commission in what it comma those honorable members who have read this report have probably not found it very light reading a report of this type can hardly be termed light reading although i believe there are many parts of it which are exciting reading few of us can say that we agree with every single word in this report and with every single proposal a report of this type is the product of the labor of a great many persons not only members of the planning commission but a vast number of other people who have been consulted among them are experts of our own country and of foreign countries and other representing various interests and professions in the country as with all joint products there is an attempt to meet different viewpoints i hope this house will view the report as a whole keeping in mind the unity of approach objectives methods and principles underlying it and not so much the details it is open of course to any honorable member to criticize or to make suggestions in regard to any part of the report whether it be principles or details but i submit that the important thing is to get hold of the main principles i propose therefore to deal with the broad principles only the subject of this report is obviously not only of the highest importance but something that produces in me very great excitement it is an exciting subject because it deals with the future of 360 millions of people to some extent that future will affect the future of other countries and even of the rest of the world it therefore becomes an enthralling and exciting subject we are engaged in the shaping of the future of india surely there could be few subjects more exciting than this it is therefore with a sense of the burden of history that i face this problem it is also with great sense of humility because however great and however competent 
we may consider ourselves we are small in relation to this mighty theme of building up our country and taking its millions of people forward during the next 5 years these 5 years are only some kind of a period that we fix for our convenience because there are no isolated periods in the march of a nation it is a continuous march we must really think in terms of even longer periods and in terms of several five year plans this is the second nobody thinks that at the end of the second plan we shall have been at the end of our journey there is no journey's end when a nation is marching leaving out the ultimate ends even such a goal as we envisage the objective of a socialist pattern of society is not going to be achieved at the end of the first 5 year plan or the second it may require 3 or 4 5 year plan periods before we can say with some confidence that we have verily largely achieved it therefore we must keep this large perspective in view in planning especially we are apt to forget the larger perspective and lose ourselves in some particular aspect which is of importance and yet which may very well come in the way of the larger perspective for example take the question of regional development we are all agreed that there should be a uniform development all over india we are all agreed that disparities not only as between individuals in regard to income but as between the various areas in india should be removed that there should be equality of growth and opportunity all over india but if we start applying that principle regardless of the other objectives and perspectives we may spoil the whole plan we may not have very much to give to any region therefore in looking at the five year plan we have to think really of several five year plans that is why it is becoming more and more important that we should in addition to the period we are dealing with have a longer perspective in view the second five year plan necessarily deals with what might be called material objectives they are very important because it is on the basis of certain material achievements that we can build other achievements the plan deals to some extent no doubt with culture and like matters nevertheless it confines itself chiefly to material advance that does not mean that we attach no importance to other aspects full stop